Hey, this video is going to demo my new Android app Carbon, which is an app sync and backup solution. It's a non-root solution, which means any Android can, user can use it. Um, if you're a non-root user, you'll also need to download the desktop application that will be linked on Google Play and also on the Clockwork Mod website. So let's uh, let's dive into Carbon and see what uh, what it looks like. When you first start up Carbon and you're not a root user, you'll see that Carbon will prompt you to connect to Carbon Desktop on your PC. This is to enable the Android application backup transport that was added in Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, obviously, uh, apps shouldn't be able to access the data of other apps, but Google built in a mechanism um, that if you connect your desktop computer, you can enable backups and grab uh, app data from app data and APKs from any app. By connecting um, to the Carbon desktop application, you can enable Carbon to access this data and perform backups and send it up to the cloud or restore or whatever you need to do with it. So, like I said, if you're not rooted, you must have the Carbon desktop app and you need to connect it via USB and it will enable Carbon on your Android. So let's see what this looks like. If you press OK, you'll see that it waits for uh, the connection on your uh, computer. Let's take a look at the computer. I'm on a Mac right now. So you'll see it's waiting for me to connect my Android. Um, if you're on Windows, I want to point out that you'll need to install your appropriate Android drivers to uh, connect it to USB and have it detected. If you're on Mac, everything will just work out of the box more or less. So I'm not going to... Um, it's waiting for my Android to get connected, so I'm not going to connect it uh, via USB. You can't see me doing this since that's off screen. So I connect it. And it should fairly quickly detect it and enable it. And there we go. It's all detected and enabled. I'm going to switch my screen back over to Carmen on Android so we can continue the process from here. So back on Android, uh, you can see that the Android tells you that it's been enabled. Let's continue on and see what the actual app looks like now that everything else is out of the way. Um, immediately you'll notice that um, there's a list of apps and this is everything that you have installed. You can scroll through it and um, let's just see what happens when we select a few. So we select a few, we can click backup and it'll give you a list of where you want the backup to go. You can set it to your phone's internal storage or USB storage. You can schedule the backup to happen um, later and send it to Google Drive, Dropbox, or Box um, and have it go off into the cloud. I'm not going to click that yet, so, but um, I, I wanted to show you another feature. If you swipe this bottom panel up, you can see that you have a few more options. You can um, Right now I have these three apps selected. I can choose to backup only the app data or I can choose to back up everything which includes the app itself. You usually don't need to back up uh, the app itself because you can just download the app off of Google Play or Amazon or whatever you need. Um, you can also uh, choose to name this batch um, whatever you want so we can call this Amazon if I, if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that this time. Uh, if you create a batch, it'll show up at the top of your list, and if you click it, it'll select all the apps that were previously in that batch. It's really useful if you want to, um, you know, obviously batch up applications and and not have to go through and select everything again. And then there's the handy select all button that'll uh, give you just, you know, every single app that you've installed, and then you can just back it up if you want. I'm not going to do that. Let's just do a quick backup of, say, let's find Angry Birds. Um, I'm not going to back up anything but the app data, so we'll back that up, send it over to USB storage. You'll notice that a, a black window will pop up. That's uh, that's expected. It'll go away really quickly. That's part of Android. Um, and the backup is done. So if we slide over to restore and sync, um, remember that I backed it up to USB storage, so let's see what's there. You'll see I have Angry Birds. So I can... Uh, I can delete it if I want to by long pressing it or I can restore it. So let's restore it. And that's that's it. The app is restored. Pretty quick. Um, in the On the cloud side of uh, Carbon, let's take a look at what that looks like. We can add a cloud storage account. And you'll see the cloud storage options here, which are Dropbox, Box, and Google Drive. We'll use Google Drive just because that's um, 
the quickest to set up. Um, so this will take maybe like 10-15 seconds to load because I've actually got maybe I've got around 100 backups already on my Google Drive so it takes a little bit to load. Google Drive is also a little bit slower than uh, say Dropbox and Box so um, I, I'd actually recommend using Box as that's the fastest of all three. And it's loaded. You can see that on my Google Drive I have you know a ton of apps already backed up and if I want to let's let's restore Angry Birds off of Google Drive and yep restore is fine uh, I'll show you another uh, scheduled the scheduled backup feature it's a little bit different from backing up the the apps regularly onto Google Drive or USB storage so let's use my Angry Birds example again. Go to Scheduled Backup, and right here it looks kind of you know like the like an alarm. Right, if I want to back up Angry Birds every day, I can do that. I want it to back up say every day at 3 a.m. because I don't want it to do it while I'm on my phone or you know whatever. And then I can also choose where I want it to back up to. So every day at 3 a.m., let's have it go to Google Drive. Press OK and you'll see that I have this new uh, schedule, one app scheduled every day at 3 a.m. If I click that I can edit it and I'll see it's Angry Birds going to Google Drive. So with Carbon, if you're backing up apps, you have uh, your usual array of, you know, you can back up to storage or, you know, various cloud, cloud uh, storage options. But another feature that uh, is pretty handy is the PC download feature. If you're on your local Wi-Fi, you know, your local Wi-Fi network and your PC is on the same network, um, go into the Carbon menu and click PC Download. And what Carbon will do is set up a web server that you can browse and download your application backups. So here at the bottom you'll see there's, a, there's an IP address and a port that you can browse from your computer. I'm going to switch over to my computer now and show you what that looks like. Browse to the site, the web server that Carbon is um, running. And you'll see that it's um, it's got uh, you know backup and restore options. If I scroll down and look at the backup list, you, you can see a list of all my installed applications. The Carbon uh, desktop server uh, looks very similar to uh, the Android app. It has you know your start backup, select all, deselect all, um, all those other various options that you're used to on Carbon itself. So let's um, let's try a backup. We'll we'll do Angry Birds. We'll back up just the app data only and hit start backup. On my phone, which you can't see right now, the backup process has started and here on my browser it's already finished. Um, there's a, You'll see there's a backup file that was downloaded right down here. Let me scroll the window up. There we go. So you can see the backup file now. Backup 8. So if I want to restore that file, um, I can look in my I can look in my download folder and um, just drag the file into the restore area. Or I can alternatively um, click the browse button and um, just find it. Let's see if I can find it. It was number 8 I believe. So um, after it finishes uploading, it'll prompt me if I want to restore Angry Birds. I can hit restore, and on my phone, once again, it, uh, it completed the backup, and then it'll tell me that it completed the backup on the web server as well. So that's the uh, Carbon uh, PC app. It's actually really handy for um, transferring um, backups between phones quickly, or if you want to do a, um, a really quick off, uh, you know, off phone, a backup off of the phone rather than go to the cloud because um, depending where you are or how good your inter internet connection is, um, doing a cloud upload can really be pretty slow, um, especially if you're not, um, especially if you're backing up the application itself. Um, then it gets, you know, the backups get enormous. My backup for an entire phone, if I select all and I um, back up the apps as well, is around two gigs. 
So it, this is a really handy option to have um, to back up to, uh, to your PC. This is a demo of using Carbon to do Android to Android Sync. Uh, I'll be doing the demo with Angry Birds. Um, on the left I have my Galaxy Nexus and on the right I have my Nexus 4. You'll see that my Galaxy Nexus has like a couple levels completed, but the uh, the Nexus 4 has nothing completed at all. So let's see what it looks like when we um, use Carbon to sync the data from Angry Birds from one Nexus from the Nexus from the Galaxy Nexus to the Nexus 4. You'll notice that the Galaxy Nexus is actually on 3G, um, and this is on Wi-Fi, so they're not even on the same network. Um, so if you start up Carbon, um, you can completely ignore the Galaxy Nexus at this point. Everything is automatic from here. If you start up Carbon, you go over to Restore and Sync. If you're logged in to the same Google account on both phones in Carbon, and you can log in via the menu or by clicking Google Drive. Um, if you're logged in the same Google account, these phones will have, um, you'll have a list of all your phones running Carbon um, in this Restore and Sync list. So let's choose Galaxy Nexus. And you'll see that it immediately pops open a list of all the apps that are installed on my Galaxy Nexus. Let's choose Angry Birds and let's sync it. So the Galaxy Nexus automatically pops open and automates the uh, backup process and then this restores it. So let's take a look at um, Angry Birds now. we play and go to the first map, you'll see we have those three, four levels completed now. That's it for this video. Um, there's going to be a lot of new Carbon features coming, um, and I'm sure there's uh, some bugs that you'll find in Carbon as well, so please, if you find a bug, um, email me at carbon at clockworkmod.com or contact me on Twitter and uh, Google+. Plus. I would be very happy to hear from you, whether you have uh, you know complaints or praise or whatever. Um, but that, yeah, that's it for the demo. Good luck and have fun with carbon.